Hello everybody, my name is Edmund Lowe. I'm the product manager of FTR accessories here at SPECAC. So essentially anything that goes inside a spectrometer um, I look after. Uh, today I'll be talking about one of my favorite uh, accessories. It's the Pearl Liquid Transmission Accessory. Owing to the transmission technique, which tends to be higher in sensitivity, the Pearl allows the user to obtain spectra of a very good signal to noise ratio and strong intensity in their FTR spectra. We provide two different types of optical materials for the um, uh, pearl liquid transmission cell, uh, so calcium fluoride and zinc selenide. And these go into the oyster cells you see here. Essentially, you put the bottom window into the pearl unit, pearl optical unit. So you put your liquid in um, onto the bottom cell and then the top cell uh, to sandwich the liquid sample between the top and bottom oysters. So essentially you'd want to pick either calcium fluoride or zinc selenide depending on your chemical compatibility needs, spectral range requirements or uh, what intensity you'd like for your fringing patterns. So calcium fluoride for example um, would allow you to have uh, reduced intensity in your fringing patterns but if you need a wider spectral range then zinc selenide might be more suitable because it's got a cutoff of 500 wave numbers in the low wave number region whereas calcium fluoride has a cutoff at uh, 900 wave number in the low wave number region. Also with the oyster cells you can control the path length and the angle of your oyster cells by changing the bottom oyster cell. So we provide path lengths uh, ranging from 25 microns to 50, 100, 200, 500 to 1000 microns and we provide either parallel uh, oysters or wedged oysters. Parallel oysters allow you to retain your uh, fringing patterns to calculate the path length reproducibility, whereas uh, wedged path lengths reduce the intensity of your fringing patterns to better the aesthetics of your FTR spectra. In instances where the user wants to analyse the solute in a solvent, we would recommend parallel windows, but if this customer is interested in monitoring the neat sample, we would recommend wedged oyster cells. Now, one other FTR transmission uh, product that we have in our product range is the OmniCell. Uh, don't worry, this is not the uh, actual size of the OmniCell. The real life size is here, so it's a very small product, and it's extremely popular amongst university students and research institu institutions around the world. Um, but there are some slight advantages of the Pearl over uh, the OmniCell, in that the patented and innovative design of the horizontal liquid cells uh, usually reduces the risk of any uh, leaking when tr introducing the liquid into your cell. Uh, as you can see, the OmniCell is vertical, and especially if you're purchasing a the mountable cell rather than the sealed cell, you do run a slightly higher risk of uh, the liquid escaping from the omni cell if you're not introducing the liquid properly. Also, due to the horizontal nature of the pearl uh, liquid cell, it's particularly useful when introducing a viscous liquid or paste, uh, because again, you're not using syringes uh, as you would for a conventional uh, vertical cell. And owing to the uh, unique, innovative design of the horizontal cells, you can easily introduce that viscous paste or liquid. Um, so it's extremely popular amongst um, oil and grease and lubricant users. Um, whereas if you have a slightly more fluid uh, sample, then you might want to consider an OmniCell. Overall, the product you choose uh, very much depends on the end application and the sample. So feel free to get in touch with myself or one of your sales representatives to learn more about our products and to tell us more about your application so we can um, recommend the best product for you. I hope to see you soon.